Hi there everyone, this is Kelly Ghettofinger with Always Stampin' Videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make the third card in my kite card series. This is the third of three cards, kite cards. And I'm just going to call this one my square kite card because it's just made out of a square, squared sheet of cardstock. Okay, so let's get started. You'll need a sheet of cardstock that measures four and three quarters inch by four and three quarters inch and you're going to pencil mark that piece of cardstock at two inches and then quarter turn it and mark it at two and three quarters. So I've already gotten mine marked but I'm just going to show you real quick how I got it. So I'm going to come in at two inches and pencil mark. I'm going to quarter turn Come in at two and three quarters inch and pencil mark. Then I'm going to score from each pencil mark down to the bottom point. Okay, I've done that on this piece here. So I've just brought it in and scored from pencil mark to pencil mark. I'm sorry, pencil mark to the corner and did it on the other side. Score from pencil mark to the point, and then they'll just fold in and meet like that. You're going to take your bone folder and really get that nice and straight. And then to get the little tail on my card, I just took the 1 and 16th inch circle punch and punched that right there in the center, fed through my baker's twine, and tied on some ribbon. Now this is a larger card, but it will fit into a medium sized envelope. You can make four smaller kite cards from one sheet of eight and a half by 11. And it's basically the same design. I have the smaller kite card measurements on my blog, alwaysstampin.blogspot.com if you wanna visit that and look for those measurements. That way you can get four of these out of one sheet of cardstock. Now to show you the designer series paper, you're going to need a piece of designer series paper that measures three and a half by four inches. And we're going to just fold that long ways. So just fold it so that the paper is long. And then we're going to trim corner to corner, it doesn't matter which, which way, just go corner to corner with it. So that what you end up with is a big triangle piece and two smaller triangle pieces. Keep these two and set them aside. Fold this one back again. Come in um, with your folded side to the top of your cutter and measure at one and three quarters inch. We're just going to pencil mark that. And now we're going to trim from the pencil mark to the, um, to the corner, to the bottom corner here. And my trimmer is starting to get dull. Alright, so then that's going to give you this triangular piece and then this kind of funky looking piece here. All right. We're going to bring our card back in. And then I've already got these um, with uh, adhesive on them. And so we're just going to add that triangle piece, the smaller one here. And then the two long pieces are just going to go on the front of our card like this. Now, if you wanted to, uh, that funky piece, you can put that in, on the inside and put your greeting here if you wanted to, or you could just leave it as it is. And there you have it, the square kite card. I hope you have a creative day.